going on, y'all? Demon D, group part two of Flippin' Florida. We're in that industrial area I was telling you about where you could get all kinds of material. I'll give you a quick look. This is Pompano, Florida. And as you can see here, there's trucks and trucks and trucks. And if you look around, we're on our way to the cabinet guy, the cabinet place and the countertop area. Uh, it's coming up here on the GPS, a half a mile up. But yeah, you can come down here and you can shop pretty much everything you need for a house, including even storage, you know? So the, again, this goes back to what I was telling you guys about the little secrets of South Florida. You know, you gotta find the pocket place like this where all your industrial stuff is going on and it helps you get pricing. It helps you get everything you need. See, there's even roach coaches out here. And uh, you know, you can competitive shop without having to drive all over Florida. And you see here, we're rolling up to the light. And as you see here, we're gonna roll into this little industrial park area. You have uh, Imaco, which is lumber. You got the home center, you got Euro America, you got USA tile and marble. And as we go in here, you're gonna see there's much, much more vendors. You have a bunch of vendors across the street. There's a fly ass Mustang. Always time for a little car stuff. You got a cool little Jeep over there, Florida style, no doors, no windows. But well, yeah, guys, knowing this little tidbit of information could make the difference on your renovation. You might actually end up getting some really, really good stuff. And as you see, you come down this back road here. There's just nothing but industrial construction equipment. This place is for lease. There's, le there's this place in here is a business park. In here, you got tons of plumbing and all this other stuff. And we're going right here to this big gray building here. We're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna go to Top's Cabinet. If you're in the South Florida area, Top's Cabinet is in Pompano. Uh, as for Bianca, tell her Lewis and Tony sent you. She'll hook you up. Yeah, guys, so you, when you're doing a construction job, kind of one of the first things you want to do is you want to get all your orders in. This way, if there's weeks of deadlines and weeks of delays, you got time while you're doing your prep work for that stuff to come in. We're ordering the cabinets right now. They should be in next week sometime, which would be perfect because all our surfaces will be prepped. Our walls will be painted and we'll be ready to install them so they won't be sitting around getting banged around. Always try to coordinate your timing so that when your stuff comes in, you can put it in place. It lessens the possibility of anything happening to it while it's brand new and you actually get it in place, it's out of your way. All right, guys. So now we're gonna talk about another part of South Florida real estate that people need to understand, plays a big part in housing, renting, so on and so forth. And that would be landscaping. Landscaping and sprinkler systems is another system that maybe where you're coming from might not be as important, but is very detrimental to South Florida. Case in point, I'll show you my neighbor's house. He's got all that green space over there and all that green stuff, and that takes a lot of water to keep green because the sun is powerful and just the way we drain out and dry out down here, the plants dry out. So if you don't have a good sprinkler system or your system is damaged in a house you might be buying in Florida, you may want to ask for a concession for that because it's gonna really mess with your curb appeal if you can't keep your grass and your plants lush and green. And if you have fruit plants especially, they need watering and all that good stuff. So just another tip, something that you may not be thinking about that you have to worry about coming to South Florida. So this is my house here on the outside, the house you guys saw the other day. And here we did some red mulch in the flower beds. You see the red mulch there, you see the red mulch there, you see it back there, over there. And that red mulch is very good because number one, it gives color. And number two, it holds in the moisture that you get. So when I use my sprinklers on, let's say like that plant there, I use my sprinklers right there, the head comes out, it waters that, it wets that mulch, and that mulch stays moist all day. So when the sun is pumping, you really can get some soak in moisture. Now to show you some of the damage that can happen, I'll look over here on my other house next door. This house has no sprinkler system. You see how the grass gets really brown and yellow? You gotta water it by hand. This is the other property I have here. And then this is the main property we're fixing here. So all these things put together, you do all this stuff and you clean it up and you fix it up. And it's all these little tidbits. Mulch is $3 a bag. You know, water is water. So these are things that you can do on the cheap. If you water your plants properly, you water your grass properly, you start to get this. See? Start to clean this up. We got all this nice green, lush green, like a baseball field. And we increase the, uh, the timer in the summertime so that it gets even more water. You know what I mean? So yeah, so that's pretty much it for this episode of Flipping Houses in Florida. But this is your average style house. This is a two-story house. It's about 2,100 square feet. 
It's four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and that's like the average size. This house here is also a four bedroom, but it's one story and it has only two bathrooms. So this is more of, this house here is more of a house that somebody who's retiring, an empty nester, somebody who's downsizing, that would be the perfect house because there's no stairs. This house here would be a starter family home or a second upgrade from a smaller home. And basically with all these little tidbits, if you're gonna buy a house in Florida, you wanna see these things. You wanna see mulch in place. You wanna see a sprinkler system that works. You wanna see an updated AC system. You wanna see an updated roof. Like this roof here, these are shingle roofs. But if you look at my neighbor over here, he's got what's called an S-tile roof, which is a lot more durable roof and lasts a lot longer. Those roofs generally go up for 30 years. These shingle roofs only last about 10 to 15. Big difference though, this is a $30,000 roof to replace. This is a 10 to $15,000 roof to replace. So again, just hopefully that stuff that helps you guys in your search out here in South Florida. You know, over here, we did a little landscaping bricks and stuff and we, we segregated the plants so that the moisture would stay back for the plants. The grass really doesn't need that much water, just needs a little bit, it'll suck it all up and, and it stays moist within itself, kind of like moss. And, uh, you know, if you do decide to come to sunny South Florida, this is the sunset time. You start to see colors come out of the sky. And that's one of the beautiful things about being down here with the weather and everything else. You know, just like every place, you got to deal with something. But uh, I enjoy the things I have to deal with here. So hopefully some of these tips, some of these things help you in this video. And if you got any questions, just feel free to comment down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Again. I'm not a professional. I'm just out here trying to make a dollar and figure this whole thing out. This has always been a dream of mine to rent houses and flip houses. About eight years ago, my brother and I started and it's been going very well. You know, there's been ups and downs. We've lost some money in certain parts. We've won some money in certain parts, but overall it's been a win. So, and everybody I speak to, regardless of the trials and tribulations they go through with real estate, um, basically they still go through the same things. Now this here, look at my mango tree. These babies right here, these babies right here, we're going to eat those fresh when they're nice and big and juicy. You know, and then I'll show you here. That's the daddy tree right there. That tree's got some big fruit on it. This little tree came from that big tree. All right? So stay blessed. Stay kind. Love one another. Keep your dreams alive. Stay great. Demon D. Yeah.